believe it or not, this asset is so bad, I've had to put a health and safety warning at the start of it to stop anyone from getting any epileptic fits or basically throwing up all over their keyboards. So I've done my job, here's a warning, and if you really want to push ahead and take the risk, well, it's your own choice. Hi everyone, Messi Coder here with another Unity Asset Review. This time I'm checking out Sweet Lake Western Pack from Crowsfield. It is $5 on the Asset Store. I couldn't resist it, so sit back, grab your Stetsons, grab your six shooters, and let's see what we get for our money in this cartoony, Call of Juarez looking Asset Pack. Hi everyone, Messi Coder back inside Unity. I'm checking out the Sweet Lake Western Pack from Crowsfield. And I have to say, it's $5 on the Asset Store. I wanted to take a big risk. I know that a lot of my friends have been telling me, stop checking out old assets, only look at new stuff. But hey, if, if it's... But hey, if it's still on the Asset Store, you're still taking people's money, you're still taking my money, I'm gonna buy you and I'm gonna review you and if you're crap well then I'm gonna draw attention to it is this crap well let's just say it has potential that dirty P word I liked the look of the cartoony textures and the shader that it uses it reminded me like a cheap man's version of Call of Juarez look at that I like that I like that style I like how it looks I think it's pretty um, the models are very basic, it's an old pack so it's a very simple models they've got. You get a lot of stuff in this pack, a lot of models in this pack. However, um, you don't seem to get any prefabs in this pack which is weird. Also, you stuck the standard assets in there. So I've gone and imported the latest um, character controller and the effects pack for me to play about with in a minute. But I'm using the one that you get with this asset. And if you look here, he's put it at 7.5, 7 and 7.5 on the scale. That should raise alarm bells because if we put it to 1, 1, 1. Look how wee a little man is. He's a midget. He's a little, little, little gnome. He's a burrower. He's a little burrower in the world of giants. Look at that. That's ridiculous. I mean, do they not even think about scale when they're making their models? 7.5, 7, 7.5. Let's put it back to how he had it. So he knows that it's wrong. He knows it's wrong because he's gonna he's gonna have to put his control up, up to 7, 7.5 at the scale. And there's another thing, if we go here, I've even reset the lighting. Okay? I've back, I've done it all. I've done what I should have done. And everything's gone all flickety flickety flickety. Look. Look at that. You've got noise. Look like I hear that noise. Well, the controller is that. This controller feels like I'm skating on ice. Um, there's no colliders anywhere, and everything's flicking around. So epileptic warning. Um, this game could cause seizures. Wow. This demo. This demo is. Well, I'm going to say I was going to say another B word, but I'm going to say broken. Um, now you could sit and make your own demo. Let's have a look to see where the prefabs are in this pack you ain't gonna get any I can't find any prefabs and I can find the models and I can find the materials to make my own prefabs but I can't find any so if I go to the scene we find this bed right where's the bed here's the bed okay bed small select okay here's the bed model Here's the bed model. But where's the prefab for this bed? Can't find it. Can't find it anywhere. Cannot find it anywhere in this pack. It is bizarre. No prefabs whatsoever. You're going to have to sit and make all your own. Stick the textures in there, the materials in there. Make your own. It is annoying. Let's let's grab him and check. let's make a, all, our, all our stuff folder. Assets, create folder. All my stuff. Look, it's five quid. Five dollars on the asset store. Um, so you're like, well, I haven't spent that much money. It's worth a punt. It was worth a punt for me because I love westerns and I like this cartoony style. And I figured, hey, he's got his own um, textures that he's made cartoony. He's got a cartoony shader. So the two working together should be beautiful. Beautiful. However, 
not exactly the case, is it? Look, look, now I've got my lovely little prefab. How hard was that? Feels like that this was reduced down to $5 by the creator saying, look, I've given up, I'm not going to support this anymore, so you spend your money, five quid, but don't expect anything from me on this pack. That's what it feels like. It's a shame because you get a lot of models. I mean, look at this dresser. Try to stop yourself throwing up now from all the flickering lights. I'll go really slow, okay, to make it easier for you. Look at this dresser. You get a pearl necklace. Okay, I'm going to avoid any jokes. You get a hairbrush. You get a box of some from jewellery. You get a little oil lamp there going away. You get a jug and a cup and a mirror. <sighs> what can I say? I am... I am disappointed, somewhat sad, because I was really looking forward to having a play with this. And if you're saying, okay, the demo scene's messed up, we can make our own, but I'm not going to sit there and make it all myself, make prefabs for everything myself. I'm not going to sit there and do that. I, I can't be bothered. Honestly, I can't be bothered to sit here and put colliders on everything. So it, it's, it's a shame. If you want asset, if you're buying this this pack just for the props then maybe it's a good investment okay if you're doing it so you can actually make a game with all the things you get in here I think they're gonna say you're gonna be disappointed and the controller oh wow the standard unity controller from an old pack that you got you are skating around now if you're gonna be if you're gonna get sick okay from all these flashing lights turn it off now I don't mind you, you running away and not not following through with this video because I worry for your safety. I worry for your health. Let's go to the bathhouse. Okay, running across the road to the bathhouse. Whoa. So I, I stopped using the control and it just carried on sliding. You get um, a little tin here. You get a big bathtub there. You get the fireplace for heating up your buckets. So you look, you get a lot of stuff. It's a shame. It's like you've got everything you wanted to have this nice little wet cartoon western town but you can't do it you can't use it for anything and let's go through this because there's no colliders you've got an empty room here it's just such a shame you can't use this for anything you've got what is this the bank is this the bank let's go inside the bank wow oh, it really makes me sad you can download the realistic textures from their website oh there's a safe if you can't use these textures here, okay, if you're saying I want this but I don't want the cartoony textures, download the textures from their website for the realistic ones and you can turn these into the realistic textures. I'll show you that in a second. Undertakers. So you've got all the buildings that you need to make your classic western town. Oh, we've got a general store and a hotel over there. Let's go into the general store and just crash straight through the wall. Obviously because there's no colliders. It is, look, you've got meats hanging up. Oh, I'm so, it's just so much potential wasted in this pack. We've got fruits and dried goods, and I've got no idea what they are. Is that? Oh, there we go, apples. And let's go to the hotel. Let's crash through the wall to the hotel. Oh, man, I'm just sliding all over the place. All over the place. Was that the hotel? That was in one empty room in the hotel. Okay. And we've got, this is our saloon where we were at the start. Sheriff's office. I'm gonna assume there's gonna be like a jailhouse. Look, is, it, is that brick? Hang on. There you go. There's the brick. The Adobe type building there. So that's the jails. Stone to stop people from being able to blast them through the wooden walls. It's well thought out. You got the. Oh my god. I do apologise. Oh, I'm just sliding. So you get guns. You get hats. You get a gun belt. You get the guns on the wall. You get you look at the folks got his hat hanging up. Posters, wanted posters. Buddy the kid wanted poster. Nice little Easter eggs here. You've got is that Texas Ranger? What's his name? That's what's his face, isn't it? Um, you know, Kurt, um, Buddy Elf. We've got his name. No, Chuck Norris. How can I forget Chuck Norris's name? Forgot Chuck Norris for a moment. Looks a bit like Chuck Norris, but it's probably going to say it's somebody else. Alright, so it's a weird one because if you look at the models, you go, well, for the models, the low poly models that you get for this pack, they're alright. Actually, the models aren't bad. They're low poly models, they do the job, but they've got a nice cartoony feel to them. So 
I'm like, oh, I can't really give a low score for the models because the models look nice. They did their job. They set out to do a job and they did it. And then you look at some of these textures, like the stained glass windows. You go, oh, some of these cartoony textures are really nice. I can't get inside. I have to jump up. And I know when I jump up, I fly through the air. And then you go, well, what's the point if it's all nice and if the, some of the textures look all right if I can't use any of this stuff? So, if it, you know, for five quid and you want to invest the time and effort to be able to use this stuff, then it's over to you. Have fun, enjoy yourself. If you want to buy something, even if it's a fiver, and expect to be able to use it without having to do a lot of work, then you're going to be bitterly disappointed. That's what I'm going to say to you. Well, it is a shame. And just for the squits and giggles, right? Let's stop that there. Let's just hide the original first person controller right and let's put in the standard one that we get today so let's find him and chuck him in here look at that size difference look at that this is the scale of how this would be with all your other assets you are literally a burrower. It's like that movie in that TV series. You remember that one? The little families that live under the floorboards, burrowing stuff and making them a the little world of it. That's what it feels like. Well, right, all the people in the saloon talking. Okay, no music playing. There should be music playing. This one over here. Wow. Wow, guys. This is. This is what you're getting for your fiver. You're getting the most unique gaming experience. The epileptic midget boa little gnome world. So, for five dollars, you get a giant, giant world for Jack and Jack and the Beanstalk. So, what am I going to give this? Well, before I give it a score, I want to show you that you can use this with other textures. So if we just change my view to my other layouts that I've got, where is it my inspector layout? We go down to um, wood. This is the cartoony wood. Okay, this is the cartoony wood. He's done his Photoshop filter on there. And let's get, so that one's wall zero one. And this is the realistic one, wall zero one. So you can see what he's done, he's just gone and applied a filter. So you can still use this with realistic textures if you want. If you want to, that is. So it's your gravestone. It's so weird. Organic. There's your apples. And then there's your, where's your cartoony apples? There's your cartoony apples. So I do like his stylized um, effect. It's like a little, like an oil painting, isn't it? The way he's done it. What can we say? Oh, it pains me. This really pains me because I really wanted to enjoy it. Even for a fiver, I saw the screenshots, I saw the pictures on the asset store, and I was like, that looks interesting. And people are giving it high reviews. Why are people giving it high reviews? Let's go back to the other. So yeah, it's a shame. It is a shame. It's a shame how you mess around with your demo scenes and your no prefabs. Oh, well. Alright, let's put that back in. Let's put that back in. Let's walk around and give it a score. What should we... It is. This is probably the hardest, hardest pack that I've had to score. I have to tell you. You think I'm crazy? You think I'm lying? I'm not. This is the hardest score that I've had to give a pack. Why, you ask? It's only a fiver? It's because it's only a fiver that makes this bloody impossible to score. Because you get so much, so many of these little assets that you get with these props. Okay? So many of these little props that you could use that have potential. So, oh, but I'm going to have to give you. I'm going to have to give you half. Half a out of five. Wow. Half. And it's it's confusing. Because if you look at the actual breakdown of the scores that you know for textures and models, well 
they, they, they're they not so bad. But I can't even work like what half half a what half a gun, half a something. I can't even I can't even bring myself to 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 give it a metaphor yet. Well, I'm just heartbroken. Heart, you broke my heart, Salt Lake. You broke my heart. I wanted to marry you and have your cowboy babies, but no, you broke my heart with your no prefabs and your weird ass flickering. No matter what I do with the lighting. Um, your scale being ridiculous, so yeah, this is this is a sad, sad, messy coder signing off, saying if you do like these videos and you want to see more, please make sure that you always get your scale correct and do click like. Alright, guys, till next time. <sighs> I'm gonna go and cry in a corner. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button, and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.